so I've been a bit busy lately in real life with a lot of stuff. I've been working a lot and cryptocurrency. I've been keeping an eye on Shiba. It's at all time highs and guys I've been so successful with this shit. As you can see here, this is what I've been busy doing lately. So I've been on AL. Um, everyone's been asking me for a warrior build and so the same it's usually just the same build as level 76 there's not much to change I might make another one of these when the arcanes come out you know your basic skills your skyward smash with three uh, these three you do not uh, want the mana cost because 25% mana is you see you use 165 mana for the skill 25% is going to be like less than 50 mana return and if you go to your main primary stats you have over 5,000 mana so that is just pointless you're wasting an entire skill point there your next one is going to be axe throw and it's going to be 5 out of 5 this is so you could pull bosses like many bosses uh, tick bleed you're actually going to your masteries put this 1 out of 10 so it can take a bleed effect on enemies and help your pro uh, procs go off faster. Of course you want Juggernaut now. Uh, this 5 out of 5. And then you want your Horn of Renew 5 out of 5. Since these 81 maps and stuff like that are harder so you're going to be using this there. Uh, windmill is optional. And Chest Splitter is what I usually use if for extra skill. I haven't been using it lately though. I don't like windmill because it uses, it like makes you uh, unable to use skills for like two seconds. Venge blood is what people like to use. I personally don't like this skill because it's it's it doesn't buff you a whole lot like people think it does. If you really looked at the stats, it doesn't really do much. Rally cry, that's also useless. Like I don't think you could have a use for that for anything in PVE. So these are the main PvE skills right now. So for your passives, you want everything except movement speed. Movement speed is just a waste unless you're doing like a leaderboard for fastest uh, time in a map or whatever. So here's all of the uh, skill or passives you actually want to use. Gold loot's optional. Masteries. Uh, you actually want your Juggernaut 10 out of 10 for the cooldown. And that's pretty much it for the pastries. You want your Rage skill. Uh, you don't want the other two, they're useless unless like Swamp Temple if you find a strategy. So you've got five extra skill points you can use for anything you want. And level 76 to 81 is the same loadout as uh, 76 as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just put in gold loot. You could put it in whatever, and it'll be, I guess, a bit beneficial. Once the level 81 arcanes come out, there might be a difference in skill usage. But for me, I use Axro and Sky Smash because they both, uh, if you read Sky Smash right here, it applies a bleed for 5 seconds as a 20% chance. And when you combine bleeds, uh, they'll proc your Chasmo fast faster right here and if you're using the arcane or the mythic sword if you've seen the damage this thing causes with the chasmo vest and this thing procced at the same time it does an insane amount of damage especially especially with the ultimate active so i think i hit a uh, mini boss for 48 million damage once or it could have been 4.8 million i'm not entirely sure 